Right, so I had a problem with my wiring going to my boot on my 2006 E90. Very common on E90s, E46, most BMWs anyway. Um, so I decided to buy a repair loom and uh, it was by Vimo and uh, when I got it I didn't like the quality of the wires because the outer plastic or PVC, whatever it is, you could basically almost see through it. You could see where the wire was twisted inside. It, it was that thin, it was shit. Plus, also, my car has 18 wires, whereas the repair loom only had um, 14. Now you might think, oh, just fix the couple of wires, one or two maybe, that are causing a problem and be done with it. Well, I disagree with that. And I'll show you exactly why. This pile of wires here, every single wire is unique. And each one of these was damaged. So let's count them. There's one. There's number two. There's number three, there's number four, there's number five, there's number six, and this was part of a previous repair of one wire, and um, this was broken in two places, because it had two repairs on it. So yeah. Let's count them again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven wires out of 18. That's nearly 50% of the wires damaged. And all these damaged parts, you could not see them until I cut them out. So I'm going to give you some tips here to help you make things faster. What I suggest doing is... If you pull the um, this thing off, both ends, I suggest cut one wire here, pull it through the bottom. Now the first couple of wires are going to be a pain, so I would suggest going for unique colour wires, so like the ones with stripes or anything. Avoid the brown wires at the start because they're all the same colour and you can... You could easily get confused and um, me being OCD I kind of fucked up a bit and uh, then I had to figure out which wires were that I'd cut because two were cut and um, figure out where they went which I figured it out. So yeah like I say unique wires cut one pull it out of here cut it short and then trim them off and then these are the tools you need you want a soldering iron and a hot air gun hot air gun is kind of optional i suppose you could use a soldering iron the heat shrink uh flux very important you use flux because if you don't it's going to be even harder and decent quality solder i recommend this solder came recommended to me quite a while back it's branded mechanic so if you can find that solder that is a decent quality solder for an affordable price one of these is definitely a must because this will hold your wires together and you can basically have it holding the wires and put it down then you've got one hand for your soldering iron and the other hand for the solder so it's going to make things a lot easier and what i was doing is i was putting the stripping the wires two one here one here one here one here so that's four pieces stripped for one wire and um then when I got the wires aligned, squirt a bit of um, flux on there. Then use your soldering iron to just melt it a little bit so it sinks into the wires. Then apply your solder. Then move your heat shrink over. Do the second one. Then get your heat gun, 
heat gun them both and move on to the next one. This took me several hours to do. I started it, um, I don't know, about half past eight this morning and um, now it is two o'clock but I haven't been working constantly. I took an hour off and I work slow as well because I just get paranoid that I'm you know using the wrong wires and of course when you've got a bunch of wires that you got a lot of the same colors you you're also going to need a multimeter as well because um, this is the one I've got I highly recommend this is it's reasonably cheap you UNI-GUT210E, I think is a newer model to this now. But the reason you want that is because if you've got all your wires chopped off and you're trying to figure out which orange wire this side and which orange wire that side, then you want your meter in continuity so that you can, you know, buzz them out. Make sure you do them wires. And another tip as well, don't... Um, strip all your wires at the start strip them as you go and the reason for that is what i do is i'll i'll strip off this side and there and there and then i'll put the multimeter on that side and then go over that side and check all the orange wires as soon as i find the right one strip that straight away and have all the rest not stripped because that will make things a lot easier for you I mean, there's probably a million different ways you can do this, but uh, this is the way I did it. And I strongly recommend you get a repair loom. Or, if you don't want to get a repair loom, you could get one of these and, um, and put some wires through like I did. Um, the reason why I would suggest get a new one of these, two reasons. One, because the old one's old and... Two, you don't want to be cutting all your wires and then putting new wires through your old one because you're going to just get lost with it. So it's better to have a new one. So I'd suggest, at, at the minimum, buy one of these rubber things. As for the wires, the all these wires came from an old PC power supply. I used the... Um, cable which is either 20 to 24 pins that um, basically goes to the motherboard the main cable basically for the motherboard um, it was longer than I needed and um, it had wires that were thicker than what the repair loom had so I mean the repair looms cost about 60 quid give or take you can buy them from BMW as well but I wouldn't recommend buying them because I kind of wasted money. I'd say just buy one of these and if you can find an old PC power supply or you can get wires from somewhere, you know, you're going to need uh, 18. You might need less. Some say that it depends on what car it is. You might have different amount of wires, but I can't see that being true because end of the day, you're going to have the same stuff on the boot lid on an E90, on any E90 really. I mean, if you've got a LCI, maybe you have some extra ones or maybe you have some less because they got LEDs and stuff. But gen generally, I'd, I'd, I'd go for 18 wires. You don't even have to have them colour-coded, really. I mean, if you just had a roll of wire and you just had black and red or something, for example, as long as you keep track of what you're doing and do one wire at a time you'll be all right so yeah that's how i did mine so now that i've finished i'm going to wrap all this wire up in some uh, sheathing tuck it into the boot lid and into the um, car and ho hopefully that's that's going to be it i'm not going to need to touch it anymore i've already checked the lights they they seem to be working and they shook these about and didn't didn't cause any uh, fluctuations in the light so hopefully it's done